Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and welcome to one of the last episodes of Battle for Bikini Bottom. How sad is that? We still got, we still got at least, a, at least like two more parts, I think. But man, we are getting there. All right, so we want to, we want to go down here to the Krusty Krab. I think that was the only one in. Yeah, music is the ear of the beholder in Squidward's dream. Probably. All right. Let's go check out what the Krusty Krab is all about. Ooh, what? Oh. Oh, okay. I can still live hitting those, so it's not... Oh, God! Not too bad. Unless that happens. Alright. Right. Yeah, I bet you Squidward's gonna be in there. Maybe. I don't... Gosh. I could tell... I could tell they're about to rotate when they tilt. But still, it's a little... A little fast. And that's not a complaint. That's just... I'm, okay, that's rotating. There we go. Not a complaint. I'm just saying. Oh, my goodness. I mean, if anything, this part of the game should be a little tricky. Being the last area and all. Whatever. Just, just take the damage. Doesn't matter. Anything back here? Aha! Uh -huh, sleepy time, robot. Okay. No, no. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Well, I am gonna die. Yeah. Ah. Uh. That means there must be something cool back there, right? Maybe. Uh. Mm. <laughs> nope. And this is a bad angle to hit him with. Maybe from over here. Nah, I can't. Oh no! Oh, I almost made it. I love the giant like Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. No, I can't get him. Wow. All right, whatever. Now maybe he'll give me a sock. All right, let's go. Let's be smart about this. Let's go a little bit out this way and then turn around. But yeah, I love the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade like balloons of the characters. SpongeBob actually has a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade balloon. I mean, it's not it's not really that surprising being like the most popular cartoon character for the past decade. All right. Let's see what we got here. Can't be at Krabs' house, otherwise Pearl would have to be there. Wait, wait, this is amazing. Whoa. <laughs> Why did they not have Krabs be in Krabs? I guess it's funnier to have Krabs talk about Squidward's giant schnoz. But look at this. Amazingly awful, you mean. Mr. Krabs is dreaming of the Krusty Krab. He's dreaming of his bank vault. What a surprise. I can't escape work anywhere. <laughs> oh, lunch rush. I'd better grab my hat and forget the hat. Get that spatula and get us out of here! It's like a shiny golden toothpick that holds together the bun of... We don't have time for this! Interesting. Huh. If we kill those things, then maybe the pathway will... <laughs> ha! What is happening? Okay, I guess... Oh, destroying robots builds the patty? I think that's what that cutscene was trying to tell us. So this is a lot of robots, though. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-chingery. Ooh, there's nothing on Earth. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe that's just telling me to go up here. Let's just do one of those. And then let's do one of those. We seem pretty safe up here. I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to do this. Cruising Bubble kind of makes a joke of some of the challenges, I suppose, if you, if you get it out of order. Okay, I did that. Um, so now I have to kill the robots, but the robots seem to respawn. Maybe that was just from the duplicator thing. It's, I'm trying to get the big guys. We don't need to use the Cruise Bubble for every enemy, but these big guys probably be a smart idea. Stop getting in the way! Oh my! All right, you know what? I'll just go over here. Right? These guys are guarding him. And he took damage. All right, good. Finally, he's done. There's another one over there. I just hope they don't respawn. All right. Take that. All right, we can, we can just manually destroy the rest of these enemies, I think. Ultra combo. Oh, no, 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 don't die, don't... Ah, oh, you fool. You 
foolhearted foolington. Can I just stand here? <laughs> I wonder. I probably could. I wonder if we get a chance, I, I want to look at what's like on the money. Ooh. Oh no, I'll, I'll take damage from the stupid jerk. Can I hit this guy into... Nope. And I think they'll respawn. Oh gosh. If I don't destroy the spawners. Yeah, they will. Okay, let's destroy the spawners. I was gonna sing... Oh, that's stupid guy. I was gonna sing Mr. Krabs' song from Atlantis Scorpanus, but I can't even remember it, to be honest with you. I just remember it had something to do with money. Oh, is it... No, 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 no. Don't want to confuse it with his other song. Oh my gosh. His other song, If I Could Talk to Money. Wait, or... No, no, no. His If I Could Talk to Money song is from the episode where he wishes he could talk to money, the short in season five. Uh, which is probably called something like Money Talks. And I shouldn't kill those guys because I need to kill the duplicator. Maybe get this guy out of my way. No, 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 don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh. I feel like I'm doing this all wrong. Okay. Before he respawn. Oh my. Wow. Alright. Goodness. Can. Like. There's a sock down there. There's underwear up there if I could reach it. I feel like the... No, don't... Oh, I feel like the game was trying to tell me something about how if I kill enemies, it'll unbuild the patty or something. But I can't really remember. That spatula didn't... It's still up there. Why didn't it come down like before? Alright, alright. Calm your big nose. Yeah, killing that one robot... Hmm... I think maybe I have to kill the little robots. That might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Makes sense. Not too difficult. And then, since we have a path up there, we can at least... Whoa. We can at least get the underwear. And then be a little safer. Ooh, this is tricky. Oh, yeah. Get up there. Mr. Krabs, your dream is insidious. Also, I don't really recall Krabby Patties having little olives on them. I guess this is, this is like the fancy patty that Mr. Krabs dreams about. Alright, and from up here I can get those things and then I should be able to cruise bubble kill all the rest of the stuff pretty easily. But then again, I did think that before and it wasn't quite as easy as I thought. No, don't hit me with that. Good, you can't hit me. Well, I don't think he can hit me. It's a dangerous assumption to say he can't hit me, but I think we're fine. Uh. Okay. Yeah, if we can just kill this guy, we'll be fine. Okay, cool. Now let's go down and get these guys. Whoa, okay. Nope, nope. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, this isn't gonna work because I have to kill them like in quick succession. Oh, no, that worked. All right, cool. Right? Did it? Sweet. Is that all in here? I mean, we know there's a sock. We'll go get the sock, but if that's all, it's a little lame. I mean, this is a cool looking area. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of platforming, but actually thinking about it, <laughs> Squidward looks mad there. Finally, now we can leave. But first, I need my paycheck. <laughs> Mr. Crab, excuse me, Mr. Crab. No, I'm SpongeBob. But actually, thinking about the way this is structured, it makes sense because each one of them, each one of these worlds, kind of represents a part of the game. Like Sandy's was the slide. This was the um, like enemy challenge part. Squidward's was a bunch of just platforming. So Patrick's maybe is the hooks. That might make sense. Or maybe it'll be uh, bubble bowling or something. Or a bunch of uh, wall jumps, perhaps. We shall see. All right, yeah, this is the right way to Patrick's rock. So we know the ball is towards the beginning of the level. 
Uh, the beginning of the hub world. Super bounce. We got that at the start. I don't know what that is. And across the dreamscape. We don't know what that is. But we got that at the start. So it might just be a reward for getting to the end of the hub. And the last one I assume is from Patrick. Right to the top. Or the super bounce. Yeah, I don't know entirely what that is. But we'll figure it out. Oh boy. Oops. My bad. <laughs> You ever wonder what meat Krabby Patties are? Like, the secret formula isn't for, like, the meat itself, is it? The secret formula is just kind of like a recipe for the sauce or whatever. I don't know. The, sh the show is... I I'm probably... This is a losing... A losing theorization here because the show itself is kind of inconsistent on what is the secret formula. If it's a sauce that they put on or if it's something that's actually made into the patties or if it's just the meat themselves. Like, it's... I don't know. Uh, but either way, you gotta kind of wonder what the meat is. Especially if, like, in the one episode where Plankton has discovered every ingredient except for one. Like, you gotta wonder, like, what's... Is it just a secret ingredient, or... I don't know. <laughs> it's also... Have you ever noticed it's also inconsistent as far as, like, what Plankton needs? In some episodes, he... He just needs to get a Krabby Patty because presumably he could put it in his machine from his very first appearance. Oh, there's a golden spatula. And there, it looks like a way back. So let's do that before we get Patrick. Let's get our shortcut back. Kill this stupid jerk. Didn't see, uh... Didn't see Arf, the, or whatever it's called, the, the Texas robot in this area yet. Which I kind of assumed we'd see all the enemies, but maybe, you know, maybe not. It's fine. Maybe he's only in the Mermel area, really. All right, just die, just die. I don't, I'm, I'm sick of your crud. I hate that robot the most. But yeah, other episodes, Plankton is like going after the form. Oh, in most episodes, I think he's going after the formula itself. But like, why would you? St wouldn't it be infinitely? I mean, and obviously, this is, these are just like hypothetical questions because it doesn't really matter in the show. Um, but just like, wouldn't you think it'd be easier to? steal just a singular patty than to steal what's like locked up in a safe i mean really what is going on here is this is this what his dream is like in the in sleepy time i think it is i think it's just him on a a singular like horsey ride seahorsey ride you have a golden spatula give it here uh oh is it gonna be evil patrick not so fast, oh <laughs> i'm not patrick before you get this golden spatula Oh, it's gonna be an easy test, right? Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Very well. Your challenge is <laughs> to find the golden spatula. You're holding it. You did it! <laughs> <laughs> and no, he's not holding it. Is, your reward. is this a trick? Is there gonna be an actual test? Nope. All right. <laughs> I'm glad this exists. I, it wouldn't be a SpongeBob game if it didn't have good comedy, and we did have to platform all the way to get here. Plus, play the shiny objects. Patrick, I yes. I already solved the challenge. You did. <laughs> and here's your real. You already gave it to me. <laughs> but where's my candy bar? You did? Then I challenge you to. Ah, uh, Patrick, I've got to go. Gary uh, needs another bath. Oh, that's a reference. Maybe. Alright, it's just that. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny. Hmm. So that's odd that it, in every level it alternated. Like, one level it was Patrick. Oh, this guy again, really? And one one level it was Patrick, the next it would be Sandy, and then the next Patrick and Sandy. It was only broken that the last two levels were both Sandy. Ooh, unless I did something out of order. It, it would have been cool. It would have been cool to have it be both. Sandy and Patrick, but in different, like, areas. But what are you gonna do? I definitely like Patrick's dream. Uh, that was definitely funny. You know, I don't even need to fight this guy. I don't I don't need your drama. Alright, so let's get the ball one. Since we know we just gotta get up there. You wanna leave now? I know it's my dream, but I want you to stay. Aww. Aww thanks, buddy. Aw, that's cute. And then I guess I'll use the cruise bubble to maybe look around the hub a little bit to see what that super bounce thing is. There were bounce pads we unlocked, so maybe it has something to do with that.
Oh gosh. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. I don't want to get knocked off by this stupid. Ah! Die! 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 Woo! We did it. Okay. Whoa. So yeah, we gotta make this ball up here. This one is definitely follow the bouncing ball. Is this if, like the very first thing we had trouble with in, in this game? Oh, it's gonna fall off because I pushed it. Right? Yeah, the very first thing we had trouble with in this game was the stupid ball because it got stuck. So let's hope that this ball isn't like my undoing in this level as well. This seems pretty straightforward. Okay, what's that over there? Is that a shortcut to something or just... Let's try... I guess it's just for free points. I don't see any like collectible above it that we were supposed to jump to. Uh, so technically we don't really need to ride the beach ball. I think it's just gonna go on its own. We just gotta jump on it at the end. That's why it's called follow the bouncing ball instead of jump on the bouncing ball even... Uh, okay. We've got this though. We've done tougher things with, with balls in this game. <laughs> And I definitely, whoa, uh, I definitely know it's not quite over yet because some of those socks, like, not only are they hidden, even though that's not going to be too much of a problem for us. Oh wow! Th thankfully that was there, or else we would have died in the animation. But finding the socks won't be trouble because you guys are helping me. But at, as far as actually reaching some of them, some of them might take some some tough platforming. So, okay. Super bounce. I can fast travel to it, and if it's in one of the worlds, that'll show me. Could be in Mr. Krabs' world, maybe? Okay, no, it is over here by the bouncing thing here, so. Yeah, that, that, this is what I would have guessed. Okay, there's two bounce pads there, and I just decided to go all the way down to the bottom, because why not, really? There's three bounce pads, I see. I guess they're not... Four of them? How many? <laughs> Is there... I should probably get off and use the cruise... Let's, let's do that. Let's get off. Or let's just die. Really, I mean, what, what difference does it make? Uh, let's just use the cruise bubble to see. Maybe it doesn't have anything. Maybe it's on top of Sandy's tree dome. Or on top of Squidward's uh, house. Okay, makes sense to me. See, the cruise bubble did come in handy. Well, it's come in handy a lot of times in this game thus far, but it came in handy as far as scouting something out for us. I'm digging this music now. I don't know if it, it's the boss music or not. kind of sounds a little bit like the boss music. Okay. All right. Easy peasy. Living greasy. Well, hmm, that's, uh, that's that then. So now, it's, uh, it's time for the sock hunts, I guess. I'm not sure if I'm really ready to do this. Let's, uh, let's first, before we go on the big sock hunt, let's go to rock bottom and go get that last spatula that we haven't even, like, unlocked the, where it is. Let me... Let me pull up the episode so I know exactly where. I'm ready for driving school to start up again. After all these robots are gone. Well, it's gonna start up pretty mm, soon. Maybe these robots aren't so bad after all. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Puff, such a strong moral guardian. Okay, so let's see. I think people said it was. Was it near Plankton? Bear with me one second. No, we don't want to be in the museum. Although I believe there's another sock in the museum. I remember that. Ooh, is it up there? Nope, that's a nice shiny object though. We want to be, I think, by plankton. <laughs> Lasers are fun and good for you. I should I should look at some of these titles. How in tarnation do you get there? Across the trench of darkness. Lasers are fun and good for you. Nice job, SpongeBob. That was some fancy sliding. Thanks. I guess all that pant wax I bought has finally paid off. Hmm. I guess we never talked to crabs as after doing this slide area. Um, okay, so I had to make a cut there. That's like the first cut in the series, I believe. Just because 
I have to actually look up where, wh like, what I'm doing here. And this is not, is this, no, this isn't the place I want to be. I think I want to be at the very start of the stage, to be honest. Uh, I believe it's near where I have to be the sponge ball. I have to access a platform. There's also a missing sock that there, which we'll grab. So hard, was it? I think it's time for a victory screech. Well, we missed talking to a lot of characters, I guess. <laughs> it's a little slower. It's more like... Oh, no, that was that was an awful attempt. Never mind. I think the characters would know better than I do. Let's try being Sandy. I think I was told I might need to be Sandy. So let's just... Uh, become the Sandy. And then... Come over to here. Not press that button, because we can't, because we're Sandy. Uh, SpongeBob will do nothing for us. I hear a timer still counting down. Kind of sounds like it, even though there's no timer up on screen. There's the sock. Okay, there's the area. This is the area. Okay, so I gotta get up there. I guess by doing this. Okay. So I want to look for a button that's somewhere around here that I can activate it, Sandy, and then a Texas switch will appear. Aha! You know, even with point blank instructions, I still miss this one. This is an obtuse spatula, I gotta say. Okay, so I can do that, and then that's gonna. Uh. No, can't stand on that. And then... Alrighty. Something tells me that the sock roundup is going to be a lot tougher than I initially imagined. But at least we know where to go for that. And at least Sandy can deal with these guys. Can she deal with these guys? Yes, she can. Cool. Yeah, this is this is definitely something that's gonna be need needing to be edited down because uh, yeah, even with point blank instructions, I'm still gonna be floundering a bit. And you don't you, uh, you don't want to see like all the all the pauses and stuff while I have to look up where exactly the sock is and all this sort of stuff. So I'll I'll give you the I'll give you the Cliff Notes version. So there's the spatula. I wonder if I could really just like just make ow just make it all the way over there on my own with the help of this. Hmm. Well, we'll never have to find out. All right, there we go, and that's a lot of shiny objects. Someone better make good use of all these. Awesome. All right. Well. Oh, that's cool. I don't think I ever noticed it, but the the sky is just a bunch of speckles. It's not like the the usual spongebob night sky or at least i don't know not not the usual spongebob sky in this game all right so i know there's still a sock we have to get here but we'll we'll do it in order so let's begin our big sock hunt so i believe we're missing one sock in bikini bottom and i'm pretty sure we get it from destroying everything in the that is creepy but i guess they had to stick the mime uh, that mime character somewhere Okay, destroy all the stuff in the Crusty Crab, I do believe. I feel like I should be working. <laughs> yeah, Spell Drive, you probably should be working instead of just, like, destroying everything needlessly. Right? And anything else? To oh, as barrels. Gotta destroy... or crates. Really? I can't... Okay, there we go. I know there's another way up there, but take, taking the shortcut. A lot of stuff to destroy in here. How does how does one access the area up here in, unless you're a, you know unless you have the platforming skills? Although I suppose really SpongeBob does have the platforming skills. Uh, those are tiki's. Okay, we got this stuff up here. Condiment Island? No. Let's set these off, I guess. Why crabs decide to have explosive in the restaurant is beyond me. Do I have to hit all the customers too? No. Was I lied to? Maybe this, maybe there isn't a sock in here. Anything else to destroy? The anchor? No. 
Hmm. A lot of a few people told me I had to get a sock in here by destroying everything. They might have meant the tiki's too, so we'll see. This is the last tiki, right? I think so. Uh. Hmm. Oh, well, I opened the cash register. Come on, game. Anything else? There's gotta be something. Can I destroy the soda? Aha! I got the mustard. There we go, and the ketchup. Okay, cool. All right, this will be the last sock of Bikini Bottom. All right, on to Jellyfish Fields. There was a sock towards the beginning. Oh, of course, Squidward's still beaten up. Yeah, right over here, which I have to... Yeah, no, I know it's a teleport box game. Use Patrick's Freezy Fruit, or... Hmm, let's see. Uh, special thanks to Multi-Classic Gamer, by the way, for helping me out with this list. Um, this whole list of, like, missing socks and stuff. He's been very helpful throughout the entire series. Uh, he has a Let's Play channel, and I believe he's played through this game and other SpongeBob games, and... Uh, I haven't seen them myself yet, but maybe someday I'll check them out, and I urge you to check them out as well, because the dude's clearly knowledgeable. All right, uh, plug aside, I have to leave three wooden tiki's in order to reach the bouncing platform. That bouncing platform over there, I guess. Hmm. So let's see, that bouncing platform allows you to access two socks from either side of it. Hmm might get a little confusing to be honest okay so let's see so i have to i see oh okay so here's the freezy fruit to get that sock and then to get up onto the that platform i just i just have to do that uh and then that there and then that okay there we go but there wasn't a sock up there that was just to get up there all right well at least at least that mystery is solved now we have to find out a way to be Patrick. Oh, there's a bowling thing up there. That's right. I remember we had to come back. And that's probably one of the socks. So let's go up there and do that. And then I presume to be Patrick in this area. Whoa. To be Patrick in this area. This reminds me of... Uh, I don't know if I said it originally, but this definitely reminds me of Mario uh, 64. Uh, especially because it's the first world of Mario 64 where there's the, the balls shooting at you. Okay, so this was where the bungee was, right? Yeah, that's the bungee. The bowling thing... Did I see a sock? No. bowling thing was up and around, I believe. We had to be Patrick, I think... We might have to go to, like, the end of the world, and then be Patrick, and then enter this area of the world? that makes any sense and there's bowling cool oh, this, this is like no sweat after beating the harder robots all right I know the bubble bowl. oh and it's just literal bowling all right well there's a sock sweet now, to be Patrick, to be the Patrick, be the star that I always knew I could be. Yeah, let's head to the end of the world, and then I think it'll loop back, but I... <sighs> hmm, trying to... This is like, this is a memory game of remember how the how the worlds are laid out. Ah, uh, like, how does it loop back? Hmm. I can't fight him again. That, that is one interesting difference between this and um, something like, you know, Mario 64 or whatever. You can't redo any of the things that you've already gotten. 
So that just takes me back to the very beginning of the level, which means... I think? Hmm. Oh no, we want to go down the slide. I think? Hmm. And then... Is that a sock? Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. We'll never know. I know there was a sock or a spatula there that we got. Where are the bus stops on this stinking place? That's something that would have been nice for this game. Uh, like a map or something that, that shows you where the bus stops are. Okay, good. We're Patrick now. So now we have to get back to the start of the, the world, though. And if I fast travel... I think I'll just auto become SpongeBob. Which we don't want. Hmm. Uh, will this take me back? Jellyfish Caves. Do I have to like backtrack all the way with Patrick? Well, because we unlock Patrick here, so there wouldn't be a bus stop in like the very start area, I don't think. Uh, we could, let's get to that box, and that box might be a fast travel back to the very start of the caves, which I think will probably take us to where we want to be, maybe. There's a freezy fruit. And I know we, we might be passing socks along the way, but I want to, where, where, oh, well there's a sock. I could maybe stack throw fruits. And then do one of those. Hey, all right. Well, we didn't pass up that sock. So how are we doing now? Eight out of 14. Gosh, there's a lot of socks here. Huh. Excuse me, Tiki's. Alright, <laughs> backtracking. I'm sure this is a pretty roundabout way to do this, and theoretically I could just use a walkthrough, but the problem is that the walkthrough and myself probably wouldn't remember which socks I found and which ones I didn't. So um, this commenter's guide is probably a lot more useful to me in, in that sense. Gosh dang it, where is the beginning of the, the world? Okay, here we go. Finally. Where are we? There's a bus stop. And this is a Patrick fast travel. Where's this gonna take me? A place that I don't wanna be. Okay. This is probably a lot more tedious than it has to be. I'm, I'm probably making it more tedious than it has to be. Like, I wonder if I just fast travel back with Patrick. Will it force me to be SpongeBob again? It probably will. Hmm. Right? Yep, forced me to be SpongeBob. Hmm. If we go to Patrick's Dilemma and then back travel from, or backtrack from there, maybe? Tricky, tricky stuff. Okay, but we have to be Patrick. So if we head in the box, wait a minute, here we go. Head in the box, and then there's a, a switcher thing up here. This is where we first got Patrick. Then I can switch to be Patrick. Hmm. I wonder if this is an intentional puzzle or just like one of those things where, I don't know, just it's unintentionally annoying because of just the way that uh, traveling in this game works. How you switch characters sometimes and how there's no bus stops because we, we didn't have a second character yet. Okay. Now we're Patrick. 
So now we go back, we use the box, and we go backwards, and then the area before this will hopefully take us to the starting area. I hope. All this for one singular sock, and there's still a ton more to get in this area. Or in this world. <laughs> Patrick. Patrick has a funny run. I feel like flailing your arms out to the sides of you is not going to help you while you run. <laughs> Doing the helicopter. Yeah. I think we already saw that dialogue. Okay. Jellyfish rock. S start, maybe? Hopefully? Yes, okay. Finally, and Patrick even had a comment. Interesting. There was probably a much easier way to do that, but... C'est la vie. I don't know if C'est la vie is, is appropriately used there. To be honest. Something like, uh... As it is or something, like... If it shall be, shall be. Okay, finally. Let's not mess this up. <laughs> Huzzah. And can I get to over there? I don't think I can. So throw fruit here. Oh no, is there a bus switcher that's like much sooner that I messed up? Hmm. Oh, there's a button over. Okay, so we can use the throw fruit. Or actually, technically, could we just use one of the key keys? Yep. Oh, sweet. Okay. But we probably could have done that as SpongeBob, right? Yeah, so we must have gotten whatever's over here, I guess. Let's just be thorough and grab it. Or, uh, you know, jump, jump to this thing. Yep, and that just takes us back there. Great. Okay, so we want to take a shortcut on the slide. So that's... Yeah, Patrick's Dilemma would be the closest one to the slide. Yeah, this is, uh, this is where doing daily episodes is going to come to bite me in the butt, because I'm going to have to do a lot of editing on this one to, to make it watchable and not boring. Oh, yeah, there it is. Sweet. Although, I do like that with... Oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, with the tips I've gotten, um, it's still... Yeah, no, I can't go back. All right, well, we'll just... It's st I still get that sense of discovery and with finding these socks, even though I definitely have a hint, or more than a hint, in a gentle nudge in the right direction, shall we say. So that's good. It's still fun for me, if not a little bit tedious, but it's just the way it goes when rounding up the last of the collectibles. Alright. There we go. Okay, so that's 10 out of 14. Okay, so there's a sock on the slide at the end. Stay on the course for two more seconds. Jump slight to the slide slightly to your left, and you will end up on a secondary part of the track that will take me to a sock. Okay. So, might be right over here, actually. Like this part. Uh... No, that might have been a, that might have been too soon. Yeah, no, that definitely wasn't it. Nice shortcut though. Whoa, out of bounds. Oh wow, I got back on bounds. Cool or in bounds. All right, so let's see here. But I think, hmm, I think that path might be the one that I had to take, or I have to take. We'll see. Well, I should be able to see where the secondary path is. I think we just went over it there, but is there an easier way onto the path? Let's see. Uh, okay, so there's where a path rejoins us, so... Yeah, okay, we missed it, but I think I kinda know where it is. These socks are definitely a little bit tricky, definitely for more experienced hunters. Okay, so can I just, like... 
No, the game really wants me to go the other way down the slide. Okay. That is definitely the path. We just have to figure out a way onto it. Like, I mean, oops, no, that's not going to be the way. That's after the path is rejoined. That's the very end of it. Hmm. Can I jump? I wish I could jump right into the box. You probably can. I mean, you guys all see where the path is down there, right? That's this. The one under this is the one we want to take. But getting on there, like I could maybe get on right there. Maybe. Wait a minute. Maybe. Aha! It was up there. I know. Okay, I got it now. Let's just die. Woo! <laughs> Very sneaky path there. A lot more sneaky than most of the shortcuts. Oh man, I'm kind of dreading the socks on Sand Mountain. I think the sock roundup video is probably going to have to be two parts. <laughs> so, right... No, not there? Huh. So let's see, it rejoins up there, and it starts... So we want to... We want... Oh, right there, right there! Okay. So where's the sock? There it is. Oh, thank goodness I got it. I almost missed it there. All right. Whew. Okay, so there's an area that... I see. There's an area that I need the cruise bubble for. And that's near... Probably somewhere around here. In this, this area, I think. It's the one with all the teeter-totters. Yeah, and the giant inexplicable water fountains near Mrs. Puff. Yeah, okay, here we go. Um, so we... Well, we want to be Spongebob for one. We want to make our way up this level. Could we get here... F Ooh. Could we get here faster by traveling to the next spatula and going backwards? Let's see. Yeah, I think we want to do that. We'll go to where... Um, yeah, right here where we were, except go backwards. There's also a... I remember there's a there's a, a wall jump thing with SpongeBob that we didn't do. I'm pretty sure. Okay. This is not going too badly. Just a little tedious. Oh, loud waterfall is loud. Okay, so let's see. There it is. There's the wall jump or. Was the wall jump just the way I was supposed to actually get up there? Wait a minute. Oh, there's a freezy fruit over there. Hang on. Let's just see. Let's see. What's over here on top of here? Is there an actual... Hmm. Oh, is this the way I was supposed to... Wait a minute. Was I supposed to go... I was supposed to go here. Oh, I totally... Okay, the way I did that over there was not the way I was supposed to do that. Okay. So this is this is the fun of doing this little sock hunt is that I get to kind of relive the levels, um, relive the levels that we did a long time ago. It's been it's been a few weeks since I started this let's let's play. Well, at least two. Yeah. Set that off. Yeah, I was supposed to huh, come around here. Ah, well, we totally missed that over there and there's a switcher in case we were Patrick but that's not actually how we get up over there we gotta use the teeter-totters and I don't I don't really actually think there is a sock over there but we might as well go up there and get those shiny objects just because we didn't, we didn't visit this part of the level maybe there's a sock in there nope around the back nope all right well, there's some more shiny objects. Okay, so we want to go to where the cruise bubble thing is. And that's somewhere around here. Hmm. As far as exactly where, I don't know. Hmm. Remember, there was a sock over there that we did get. Pain in the butt sock. Hmm. Let's use the cruise bubble to see it. Wait, is it right in there? No, that's the cave. 
Hmm. Is it over? Is it over there? Oh, uh, there it is. Okay, cool. Had a had a hunch. So we want to go back up to the top. Okay. And then work our way down to that. I think I kind of sort of remember where that is. Uh, we don't want to go down that way. Do we want to go down over here? Can I just... I probably can't just fall. Because it's like a separate area. Even though it it looks like the area we were just at. And like, the, like they match the background really nicely. I think it is just background. And I have to go through this because it's got to load in. Okay. Alright, so we want to fall, but we want to be careful about how far we fall. There it is. Okay, yeah, we can see it from here. Not bad. Alright. Cruise bubble it is. I don't know why this very this very first level decided to have, like, everything. Uh, just, like, all, this, all the moves that you learn later in it. You gotta come back for. I mean, it's fine to come back for stuff, but weird that it has both like you could come back here with the bubble ball and then still all right you need to die and still not have enough to complete the level oh oh good it didn't respond oh my goodness where Ooh, where how up there you you is it you i don't know but you're dead now I have a very important task here. I don't know how this pressure plate just makes these tiki's just spontaneously exist in the middle of the air, but sure. Alright. That's another sock down. 12 out of 14, two more. Okay, so... Enjoy that. There's a jump pad somewhere around here with the with that leads to the last two socks, I believe. Now, where that jump pad is exactly is not information I have. It's oh it's probably that one. Okay. Or one of these anyway. Hmm. Let me check out the cruise bubble here. Is there something up on top of there? No. Oh, there's probably something on top of the jellyfish statue if we didn't already go there. Oh, no, you do have to go there. Oh, but we... No, you don't. Okay, we didn't. Gotcha. Cool. All right, so let's get up on this. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that robot there in the grass. Is there an easy way to... Eh, it's not really that far, but... I don't know why they front-loaded the very first world with so many socks. To be fair, Jellyfish Fields is a relatively big world. It's just a little odd that it has so many socks when, like, the Mermelair has three. I think it's, it's like three or four. Okay. Nope. Okay. Hop on the vile plumes. Hop on your right vile plume. Don't forget it. Oh, and here's right where the bowling one was. Okay, so let's see. You just keep following along on here, I think. Yeah. I don't know how I missed this area. What is? Pop. Nah. Oh. Uh, this looks odd here. Can, can I really not do anything with that? What is... I don't understand what that is. Um, hmm. Okay. There's one sock we're missing. Let's see. Uh, bouncing platform allows you to access two socks from either side. There's one on top of a fountain that's a high cliff, which is only accessed on by that bouncing platform. Okay. And I think he meant this, or er, no, 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 I think, I think this one. Okay, high up on a fountain. I probably should have 
Well, look, uh, let me get on this one, and then I can scout. High up on a fountain. I don't see any fountains in this area. Wow! No! Don't! 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 Uh. Top of fountain that's on a high cliff, only access from the bouncing platforms. Okay. So I maybe he's not talking about like the water fountains found later in the area. I think it just means on top of a, a little waterfall or something. On top of a cliff. Like like that right there. It's something like that. Maybe, hopefully. But that's the last one in this area, right? Yes, okay. Ugh, because I've been recording for a while now. And yeah, I, I, if, don't be bothered that I'm not leaving everything in because a lot of it I'm just silent trying to figure out the instructions. Um, and obviously we've been through these levels so I don't have too much to comment on at this point. Okay, let's see. Can I, wait, let me go back and survey the area before we, before we do things here. Let's see. Is it, is it up there? We, we kind of look, but no. Okay, so it's not up there. Hmm. Could be on one of those cliffs over there. Let's see. Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. What about up here? Aha! Okay. Uh, but how do I... Oh, yeah, I have enough momentum. Okay, so now I just gotta... Oh, he did mean, like, fountain, fountain. Okay. All right, that's all the socks in Jellyfish Fields. Now to downtown Bikini Bottom, and at least we can also get two spatulas here. So let's get... Let's get this one. Uh, okay, so it's that way, so we gotta go to the... Oop, to the right from here. <laughs> to the... Okay. Yep, so we cruise bubble right here. And then I think there's a button, right? Yep. Sweet! Ah, oh, remember remember that time that I... Do I have to... I think I have to go from the other way. Remember the time I got really confused in this area? Good times, good times. Here's that bus stop that I determined, uh, along with the help of some comments, is, is probably the most ridiculous one in the game. Also good times. Uh, I could probably switch to Sandy and make this a little... Oh, yeah, and I should, because there's Texan things. Ah. Le good times. How you doing, Krabby? There's more golden spatulas in the deep blue sea. Be on the lookout. Well, actually, Krabs, there's really not that many more, to be honest with you. We're, we're, we're kind of entering the end game here. Uh, in fact, these are like the last two golden spatulas, right? Outside of the ones we get from Krabs, Patrick, and the final area ones. I can make that, right? I probably could, but let's not risk it, eh? Not that I'd really have to backtrack that far. So the spatula is there, so I presume to... Ahead is gonna just be the... Uh, another sock, maybe? Okay, come on, come on. Let me go before the platform starts moving. Before the game freezes. Okay. Uh. Oh. So there's just like no reason for that to be there then? Why did I just get a tada thing? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, we need three more socks in this area. Yeah, that's still closed. We, we just can't access that, or? Let's see. Let me give it one more try here. <laughs> this is where Pi Guy gets confused in the Sea Needle even further. Oh, oh, okay, okay, right here. And there is a sock here. All right, oh boy, watch out for this thing. Remember, I can't get it from above, but whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't even need to kill it. All right. 
Uh, exit. Okay, let's see. So I was told that the last before we before we go sock hunting, I was told that the last steering wheel is let's see on the beginning of the rooftop section, I believe, either the beginning or the end of the rooftop section, something like that. The steering wheel is early on in the rooftops on top of a pipe. Okay. Is it this pipe? No, it's not that pipe. All right, well, let's just do the rooftop section. Top of a pipe. Those are pipes. Okay, this is this is gonna make me like paranoid. Right, and we didn't collect. Okay, I didn't collect it like off screen or, or not off screen, but like just accidentally or something like mindlessly while I'm. Oh, there it is. It's right there. The doy. <laughs> Rip that guy. How did I miss that, man? All right, thank you to everyone who told me where that one was. Let's return to Mrs. Puff, and then we'll search for the last two socks. SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? How did I fight? You didn't, you didn't end your voice clip there. Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was... Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Also, don't bother evacuating everyone, Mrs. Puff. I'll uh, I'll have the robot situation taken taken care of Puff. relatively now soon. I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. I think you could fix that, Mrs. Puff. Oh, don't I? No, <laughs> no, you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. <laughs> oh. That's all right. In the next game, you won't even need a license. Because you'll be driving a sandwich. Okay, so I think I want to be Sandy. So let's learn Sandy's moves. Okay. So I think the general idea right now for me is to just kind of platform around as Sandy until I spot the area in the video that uh, he's talking about. Got what's on top of the fountain, I believe, right? Did we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. I think it was a golden spatula anyway. Okay, there's the brown building. Let's see. Ooh, let's kill this guy. Okay, let's see. There's a down building with a sock on top of it. I'll need Sandy. So, this brown building? Or this, this downed building? Doesn't have a sock on top of it. That can't be the one he's talking about. Is it that down building over here? I think it might be this one. Is this the sock inside of the thing? I think we saw this. Oh, no? We must have gotten it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Nope. Didn't make it. Okay. Yeah, I think we gotta get to the tippy top and maybe jump on this. And then... That should work. There we go. Alright, there's one sock. Okay, one left. And so, I guys searched the comments to try and figure out where the missing sock was. But sadly, none of them could help him. So he resorted to a walkthrough looking up where each sock was and retracing his steps through the entire level. All the while, 100% certain he had gotten the one in the top of the lighthouse. Until 20 minutes later. Maybe we didn't get the one in the lighthouse. Hmm. I could have sworn we did. Oh no, we didn't get the one in the lighthouse. Wow. Oi. How did I how did I miss that? Well, we'll do the lighthouse thing again because we have to. But actually, this is perfect because I'm gonna end the episode after we get this sock, and that way, off screen, I can grind for all the shiny objects we need. And then in the next part, we should be able to get, if not all the socks that we're missing, at least a good chunk of them. Uh, sorry if this video ended up being a little shorter than the rest. I don't actually know because 
I'm editing this one down a lot. But hey, we, I, I, I don't know if we made a ton of progress, but we made at least a decent amount of progress. I'm actually gonna have to probably do this twice. Once once to get the sock for you guys on screen and then I have to reset it so I can grind. And I guess I'll I'll teach you the way to grind if you, if you don't know. Or the, the way the way to grind uh, in this game uh, to, to get the shiny objects. Wow. Come on now. Okay. I feel like that they break apart like puzzle pieces. So what you do is you come up here, right? And then the robots will keep heading towards you, and they'll just keep dying on the electricity. Yeah. But I have to kill them right now just to, uh, to get the sock. Alright, there's that. I can't believe I missed the sock in here. I mean, I'm kind of, well, I'm not glad it was in here. I, I mean, I am if I had known it was in here because it would have been easy to come back here. But, like, because I didn't know, I went and looked for all the other socks that we had already gotten. Dang. Ooh. So, yeah, when we press this, the trampolines show up. Which we, I know we used. Maybe, maybe I didn't save the game or something. Maybe I just, or maybe I just got up to the top and, huh. I don't know. Because I knew there was a sock in here. Like, that was something I genuinely remembered. Like, why else would they give you this path back up to the top? Hmm. Maybe I thought I grabbed it when I didn't. Uh, Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this frantic sock hunt. Uh, join me next time when we will continue our search. Bye, guy rules. Out.